Hello everybody, I would like to thank those, and there's a couple who were talking about uh, Google Documents, a very interesting and uh, amazing site actually. I was unaware that this was available. You can uh, put in different uh, office type documents, whether it be spreadsheets or uh, text documents, Word documents, and uh, they can be available for different people to edit and download and all that type of beautiful stuff. And the uh, Fibonacci spreadsheet is available, the link below. What you do is you put in the uh, levels for the lowest area of a range and the highest. And what it calculates is the exponential Fibonacci and the linear Fibonacci over here. You get the 23.6, the 38.2, the 50 which really isn't uh, Fibonacci, but it's the halfway point, which is still important. The 61.8 and the 76.4. The uh, column or the set below here, that this is the uh, upside targets. And uh, the linear is, I like this one this better than the uh, exponential, as uh, this tracks the upside targets. Now exponentially, I'm still trying to figure out how they work out, but I think this is a pretty decent tracking here. How this works out is it takes the 161 level using uh, the same formulas that I used to calculate these levels in here, and the levels below it, what it does is it takes the gain from the breakout, so in this case 22, the gain was $2.91. So whatever the percentage gain is on this from the 22 breakout, it will do on 28. So the same percentage gain on 2491 and so on below. And uh, finally at the bottom part it's a downside Fibonacci. There is nothing on the right hand side because quite frankly using the same mathematical formulas to calculate downside does not work on a linear basis. But it would work out fairly well on here. So when stocks are in a bear market this is a uh, place where you would find uh, downside targets. Now this uh, is set up so that only I am able to edit it. Therefore, I'm not too sure if you are able to change these numbers. Please let me know if you are, are able to or, or are not able to change them. However, there's, uh, might be, there might be a way around that, and that is you go to the file, download as and then you pick Excel or Open Office depending on which spreadsheet program that you are using so uh, please let me know uh, if this it's, if it's working for you and most likely if uh, I'll be adding a whole bunch of different ones because I end up losing a whole bunch of uh, amazing data over the last little while so this is a good place to back it up and uh, a lot of the data that I have for the silver would most likely come or be put on uh, this spreadsheet for uh, common use. Take care.